Greetings everyone, I hope everybody's doing amazing and I hope this video meets everyone in optimum health. Okay guys, so I'm still in the vital science series videos and the topic I'm talking about today is heart rate. Let's get to it guys. Okay, heart rate. Heart rate is also referred to as pulse rate, also referred to as heart beat. But for this video, I'm going to be referring to it as heart rate. So what is heart rate? Heart rate is the number of times the heart beats per minute. And this varies from person to person, also varies between genders. Females tend to have higher heart rate compared to males. Also, this heart rate is lower at rest. What do I mean by at rest? It means when you're sleeping, not doing any activities, not exercising. Heart rate increases with exercise. This means how a heart has to pump more oxygen-rich blood out to the muscle and the bone in order to provide energy and nourish it while we're exercising. When it comes to resting heart rate, lower is better. This means the heart muscle is in good shape that it doesn't have to work too hard to maintain a steady beat. Also, studies have found that higher resting heart rate has been linked to poor physical health, obesity, and high blood pressure. So, knowledge about heart rate as we know is very important because it tells us a lot about our physical health. It can help spot developing problems in our body. Also, Knowledge about heart rate is important because it helps to monitor our physical fitness level. So what is a normal heart rate? Normal heart rate is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. However, normal resting heart rate tends to be in the lower range. I'm going to be putting pictures here for you guys, showing you your normal heart rate per minute and also normal resting heart rate per minute, according to age and according to gender. Okay guys. So how do you check your heart rate? You can check your heart rate using devices. You can also check your heart rate manually with fingers. You can use the same device you use in checking your blood pressure. You can also use another device called pulse oximeter. So I'm going to be putting pictures here for you of devices and how to properly check your heart rate with the devices. You can also check your uh, heart rate, like I said, with your fingers. You can use an index finger, middle fingers, and your heart finger. These three fingers, you can place this in different points in the body and you can use that to check. Again, I'm going to be putting this picture of the, a different body part that you can check your heart rate manually with your finger. Okay? So when it comes to normal heart rate, it should be equally spaced. It should not be too strong and it shouldn't miss a beat. What can cause your heart rate to be high? What I mean by high is, is heart rate of more than 100 beats per minute. Infection can cause it, dehydration can cause it, stress can cause it, anxiety can cause it, thyroid problems can cause anemia, other health problems can cause it, shock can cause it. So you want to think about this, you know, if my heart rate is high, am I drinking enough fluid, you know, am I drinking enough water, do I want to increase my fluid intake? Also, am I too stressed? You know, do I want to reduce my stress and relax a little bit? Am I having anxiety? Do I want to see if I can try to control my anxiety? Okay, so, so what can make your heart rate to be too low? What I mean by too low is heart rate of less than 60 beats per minute. Medication can cause it. Okay, also heart lift. People that are very fit physically that exercise a lot can have low heart rate. Their heart rate can be as low as in the 40s, okay? All the factors that can affect your heart rate. Factors such as temperature, okay? But body position change can affect it. Are you lying down, sitting up, or sitting? Body size can affect your heart rate. Emotion can affect your heart rate. Medication, as I mentioned earlier, can affect your heart rate. So you want to keep these factors. If you're having a very low heart rate, or if you're having consistently high heart rate, especially if you're having symptoms such as dizziness, weakness, fainting, or you feel like you want to faint, you really want to consult your con or your provider. You want to go and see a, a doctor, okay, so they can see what else is going. So as we age, the rate and the regularity of the heart rate tends to change and this may signal you know health problems so again you want to see your provider you want to see so they can assess you and see if anything else is going on so heart rate and exercise 
like I mentioned earlier that you know knowledge of uh, heart rate is important in monitoring our physical fitness level right so when we're exercising right we, we, we look at something called target heart rate this target heart rate has to do your, with your age and your weight this helps to monitor the intensity of your exercise the higher the intensity of your exercise the higher your target heart rate would be and when you're exercising, your heart rate is usually higher at this time. And when you stop exercising and resting, your heart rate will go down gradually. And depending on how fit you are, that would determine how soon your heart rate goes back to low to moderate exercise. Your heart rate increases, but not as much as high intensity exercise. I want to talk a little about the differences between blood pressure and heart rate. Yes, these two measurements are vital signs. And yes, these two measurements are used to measure your health status. But these two measurements measure two different things. And because, also, you know, for you to check your blood pressure, you have to use devices to check it. But for your heart rate, you can either use device or you, you can use your fingers. Also, so your heart rate and your blood pressure do not necessarily increase at the same rate, okay? For example, if you're exercising and your heart rate increases, that doesn't mean your blood pressure will increase. Normally, you know, when your heart rate is increased during exercise, normal healthy blood vessel will expand and will accommodate whatever blood is being pumped out. Normally, you know, without drastically affecting your blood pressure, okay? Just keep that in mind, guys. Guys, that's all the information that I for you. I really want to thank you so, so much for watching this video till the end. I really do appreciate it. And I hope the information provided in this video will be beneficial to a lot of people. Again, also guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you can. Turn on your notification bell button and comment down below with any questions or suggestions. Guys, thank you so much once again for watching the video till the end. I hope everyone's health continues to be optimal. Thank you so, so much. Goodbye for now.